I feel like I used a ton of hot glue for this project, but I wanted to make sure that the twine really stuck to the um, to the cardboard. And uh, I got this twine from Amazon. It was actually cheaper. I got 300 and some feet for like six. I feel like I used a ton of hot glue for this project, but I wanted to make sure that the twine really stuck to the um, to the cardboard. And uh, I got this twine from Amazon. It was actually cheaper. I got 300 and some feet for like six dollars. So it was much cheaper than than the Dollar Tree. Um, but of course, if you would like to use Dollar Tree's twine, feel free. I feel like I used a ton of hot glue for this project, but I wanted to make sure that the twine really stuck to the um, to the cardboard. And uh, I got this twine from Amazon. It was actually cheaper. I got 300 and some feet for like six dollars. So it was much cheaper than than the Dollar Tree. Um, but of course, if you would like to use Dollar Tree's twine, feel free. I feel like I used a ton of hot glue for this project, but I wanted to make sure that the twine really stuck to the um, to the cardboard. And uh, I got this twine from Amazon. It was actually cheaper. I got 300 and some feet for like six dollars. So it was much cheaper than than the Dollar Tree. Um, but of course, if you would like to use Dollar Tree's twine, feel free. I feel like I used a ton of hot glue for this project, but I wanted to make sure that the twine really stuck to the um, to the cardboard. And uh, I got this twine from Amazon. It was actually cheaper. I got 300 and some feet for like six dollars. So it was much cheaper than than the Dollar Tree. Um, but of course, if you would like to use Dollar Tree's twine, feel free. I feel like I used a ton of hot glue for this project, but I wanted to make sure that the twine really stuck to the um, to the cardboard. And uh, I got this twine from Amazon. It was actually cheaper. I got 300 and some feet for like six dollars. So it was much cheaper than than the Dollar Tree. Um, but of course, if you would like to use Dollar Tree's twine, feel free. And if you don't like the wording or whatever to uh, show through on the box, of course you can paint it white. But I didn't really feel the need to paint this box. It was just an Amazon box. So um, I just left it as is and just wrapped the twine around. And once it was finished, you, you really couldn't even notice any wording or anything in between the twine. But of course, make this project your own.
course, if you get bigger rope or bigger twine, um, this process won't take half as long. But yeah, this took a quite a while to wrap it all the way around. And I actually wrapped it around all the way up to where there's the crease um, where the flaps were going to fold. And that's where I stopped at. Okay, now I'm working on the bottom of it and I'm deciding uh, what kind of pattern I wanted to do. Um, I had debated about just leaving the bottom plain and just um, putting some Jenga blocks on the bottom for feet. But then I decided, no, we're going to make the bottom pretty too. So I just um, started wrapping the twine in a circular motion in the middle of the box and just kept wrapping and wrapping until um, it was an oval shape. And I kept wrapping it around and around um, until the sides kind of overlapped the the front and the back. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. And <clears throat> it actually just created more of a little bit of a design in the front and the back of the project. There it is. You see how it's going over the edge just a bit and that's just going to make more of a design on the front. And I'm just cutting that and then I'll create smaller circles around the, the four edges and then I'll fill those in. I'm doing the same with the circles as I did with the larger circle in the middle. I'm just overlapping just a bit 
so that it looks it has a nice appealing look and here I did this for for all four um, all four sides and I just used my scissors a bit if the if the glue was a little too hot <clears throat> I apologize for my voice my, my voice has been so nasally because allergies have been really kicking my butt lately so I do apologize again Okay, now I'm just cutting some smaller pieces to fit um, in the little um, spaces that are still empty and I'm going to fill those up with those those smaller pieces and I'm just going to um, intertwine them in. Here's the finished bottom. As you can see, it's not perfect, but it does have a nice design. Okay, and these are actually remnants in the fabric section of Walmart, and um, they have a lot of different designs. I actually chose the the aqua. Um, they're 99 cents for one square remnant and they're good for pillows or what have you so um, I just got two and I sewed them together at the tops 
and the bottoms and now what I'm doing is I'm just uh, folding it over just a bit so that there's a nice line where I had stopped at the twine so it covers up the rest of the box Now I'm just trying to uh, fix the inside so that it stays taut and um, glued in the corners. So I'm just gluing all of those. And once I was finished with that, I was actually still feeling like it needed a little something else. So um, what I did was I got some um, of the blue marbles and the white marble rounds and put those on there and then again I just um, used my hot glue gun and I glued the the white uh, flat marble in the front well in the middle and then I just started gluing the uh, blue marbles around just to create like a flower effect and I did that for all four sides that way it's nice and uniform and beautiful who says you have to spend a lot of money in order to um, create something beautiful I think this this box actually in total, I would say with the marbles, the fabric, and the twine, it cost about six dollars. Six dollars to create. Of course, that's not counting the uh, high glue sticks because most of us have those on hand anyway. But yeah, it's a very inexpensive project, and it's a beautiful project for your bathroom. finished project it actually goes really well with my shower curtain and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and um, hit that bell have a good evening